now that the SBA is allowing you to request an increase on your EIDL loan, one of the most common questions we get here at Freedom Tax Accounting is, well, how much of an increase can I get? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Hello from Freedom Tax Accounting. We're an accounting firm where we have been providing quality tax and accounting services now for over 20 years. If you are new to this channel, we provide strategies for small business owners so they can achieve their financial goals. This video is being recorded on April 22nd, 2021. And we always emphasize the date on the recording on any video relating to the EIDL or the PPP loan program because these programs have been constantly changing. So there may be things we discuss in this video that can change as soon as tomorrow. So that's the importance of subscribing to our channel. That way you are always up to date with the most current and correct information relating to these SBA loans, okay? So as you all know, the SBA uh, is now allowing uh, businesses or self-employed who got the EIDL loan in 2020 or 2021 to request an increase on their EIDL loan. And now the most common questions we get here in Freedom Tax is, well, if I request an increase, how much of an increase can I get? So basically, that's what we're going to discuss. Um, let me show you. Okay, so this is the most common questions we are getting right now at Freedom Tax relating to the EIDL. How much EIDL loan increase can I get? Okay, so as an overview, remember that the EIDL uh, loan has been extended. The You can request an EIDL loan until December 31st, 2021. So if you have not applied for the EIDL loan in 2020 or 2021, you can now up, uh, apply for the new loan uh, on, and you have until December 31st, 2021. Now, if you apply for the EIDL loan now, meaning that you have not received the, an EIDL loan in the past, the EIDL loan that you apply now will be a larger amount compared if you had requested the loan in the past because uh, the SBA is implementing a new formula that you're going to get up to 24 weeks of operational expenses up to $500,000, okay? Remember, in the past, the max you could get was $150,000. Now they have increased the max to $500,000, okay? Now, but if you already received an EIDL loan in 2020 or in 2021, with the old formula, you can now apply for an increase, okay? So basically, in the week of April 6th, the SBA started to send out an email because in order to request an increase on your EIDL loan, you have to do it via email. So there's no website, there's no portal that you can go and request the increase. It has to be via email. What email? This is the email the SBA started sending out on the week of April 6, 2021, basically letting you know that according to their records that you received an EIDL loan and they give you the instructions right here on how to request the increase. Okay. Now, if you have, if you don't know how to request the in, the increase, uh, we have done a video in the past that I I'm going to put a link to that video on the description on, of this video. So that way we we guide you step by step how to write the email to request the EIDL loan increase, okay? Now, um, even though you may have received an EIDL loan in the past, uh, some of you are telling us that you have not received the email from the SBA. And we really are not sure if you have to get the email in order to request the increase 
or if you can just basically write the email to the SBA to request the increase. We suggest if you haven't received the email, just write the email request. Uh, there's nothing to lose, okay? So that's what we're telling our clients that ha have not received the SBA email and they want to uh, request the EIDL loan increase, we're telling them, let's just do the email, okay? There's nothing to lose, okay? So uh, as a summary, we wanted to emphasize that Remember that the IDO is a loan, okay? This is not the grant, all right? Remember that the IDO program has the grant portion and the IDO program has the loan portion, okay? This is to request an increase on your loan, all right? And remember, it's a 30-year loan, 3.75% interest rate, 2.75 for nonprofits, if you got your IDO loan in 2020, you now have 24 months of payment deferment, meaning that you have 24 months to start making your monthly payments from the date, from the month you got the funds. If you get your IDO loan in 2021, you have 18 months of payment deferment. Very important because there's a lot of people confused. The IDO loan does not have forgiveness. The loan that has forgiveness is the PPP loan, which is a separate program. The EID loan has no forgiveness. And remember that this loan has very strict rules. You cannot use the funds for whatever you want. And the SBA will be requesting uh, financial statements in the future because they want to check how you are using the EIDL loan funds, okay? So if you have, in the past, we have done a video on how to correctly use the EIDL loan funds, okay? If you don't, if you haven't seen it, we are gonna put a link to that video in the description of this video, okay? So basically, let's go to the question, how much EIDL loan increase can I get? Now, the thing is, no one knows for sure the exact SBA formula that they are using to calculate the EIDL loans. If you are subscribed to JJ the CPA, uh, he has a great channel and I love the way he says it. He says that the SBA formula is an urban legend. Um, but since we have been working with our clients getting the EIDL loans now for a year, we have come up with our own formula here on Freedom Tax, and we have come very, very close to what the SBA has um, proposed to our clients on getting the EIDL loan, okay? So that's the formula that we're going to share with you today, all right? Now, in order to, to, to know how much EIDL increase you're going to get, you will need to get your gross receipts of 2019 and your cost of goods sold of 2019, okay? So where do you get this these numbers from? So if you are a Schedule C filer, then look at your Schedule C for 2019, even though it here's 2020, look at your Schedule C for 2019. And this is line one, this is where you get your gross receipts or sales in line one. That's the number that's here. And then your cost of goods sold is line four. So the number that's on line four, that's your cost of goods sold. If it's zero, if this is blank, then your cost of goods sold is zero. Okay. So this is if you are a Schedule C. If your business files the 1120, meaning that you are a C Corp, Take a look at your 1120 of 2019. And once again, um, here, line 1A is your gross receipts. That's this number right here, 1A. And line 2 is your cost of goods sold. If your business is an S Corp and you file 1120S, you need to look at your 2019 1120S. And you look at line 1A, Gross receipts right here, line two, 
cost of goods sold right here, right? And if your business is a partnership that files form 1065, look at your 2019 1065. And once again, you look at line 1A, gross receipts, and line 2, cost of goods sold. So that's where you get the numbers from, okay? And you will also need to know the amount of EIDO loan that you have already received either in 2020 or in 2021, okay? So this is the formula that we think the SBA is going to use. It's going to be, you take your 2019 gross receipts, you subtract your 2019 cost of goods sold, you divide by 12, you multiply by, by 24, and you subtract the amount of idle that you have already received. All right, idle loan, not idle grant, idle loan. And that number should be the amount of increase you're going to get up to $500,000, okay? So once again, you take your 2019 gross receipts, you subtract your 2019 cost of goods sold, you divide by 12, you multiply by 24, and you subtract the EIDL loan amount that you already got, okay? And then that number up to $500,000, we think that's the amount of increase that you can request, the max that you can request from the SBA, okay? Let's look at an example. Let's say that we have a case where the gross receipts are $200,000, your cost of goods sold are $50,000, this business received an EIDL loan in the past of $75,000, okay? So once again, we take the gross receipts, 2019, 200,000 minus the cost of goods sold, that's 150,000. We take that and we divide by 12, that gives us 12,500. We take the 12,500, multiply by 24 and then $300,000, okay? And then the $300,000, we subtract the $75,000 of EIDO loan that we already got in the past, and then $225,000 should be the amount of increase I can get. Now, remember that this is up to $500,000. So if this number is higher, then $500,000, the max you can request is $500,000, okay? So we think that's the way the SBA is going to uh, re calculate your EIDL loan increase. Uh, if you have any questions about the EIDL loan, if you want to apply for an EIDL loan, if you want to apply for the PPP, if you, ha if you have questions on how to use your PPP funds, if you have questions on how to use your EIDL loan funds, then we are providing consultations. This is our contact information, okay? And then remember that we are also part of Freedom Group, where we are a group of four companies that we not only provide tax accounting, we also provide immigration services, real estate, financial planning, and insurance, okay? So... We can help you out in many, many ways. So thank you for watching this video. God bless you. Remember that we are praying for you. We are praying for your family. We're praying for your business. And remember to like, share this information with other business owners and subscribe to our channel, okay? Remember that the other videos that we talked about in this video are linked in the description below. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.